so ion chromatography now this ion chromatography works on the ion exchange principles the same principles we talked about the ion exchange chromatography the similar kind of principle also works for the ion chromatography ion chromatography works with the same principles okay so now retention of ions depends on to the affinity of ion to the active site the retention of ion depends on the affinity of ion to the active site what is the affinity means what is affinity affinity means attraction we talked about like attracts like you remember that right isn't it the non polar compounds get attracted toward the non polar stationary phase that is attraction affinity now this ions may be positively charged ions or negatively charged ions like chlorine negatively charged calcium positively charged ions so what is the attraction of this ions toward the stationary phase if they are having more affinity that means more attraction they are going to have the longer retention time and vice versa clear on this point type in c for clear in the comment box ashutosh please don't feel sorry it's is absolutely all right i completely understand that sometimes mistakes happen and i understand your intention are very pure and clean so don't worry about that okay so retention of ions depends on the affinity of ion to the active site hmm? so ions with greater affinity for the stationary phase are retained for a longer time right the ions with the greater affinity for the stationary phase are retained for the longer time right let us take some examples now so lithium plus is called as the is called as the what is called as the ions with the very low affinity towards the stationary phase and then become the sodium plus then nh4 plus then k plus and calcium 2 plus so it is very important to understand and let me show this chromatogram also on the screen can you see the chromatogram on the screen by the way right here we are now see the lithium having a very small peak then followed by sodium ammonium potassium calcium and then the magnesium so this is the retention order so why the lithium has so low poor retention time in the ion chromatography what is the reason what is the reason that the lithium has so poor retention time hmm? it has low charge but why it is low affinity that is the question you know palak ben hmm? low molecular weight okay that is the good point mukesh kumar see it needs to be understood that why lithium is not able to get attracted towards the stationary phase why sodium is not getting attracted towards the stationary phase as compared to ammonium and the potassium let us understand the lithium chloride let us understand so what is the what is the ionic bond between lithium and chlorine is it weak or strong what is the nature of this bond between lithium and chlorine or sodium and chlorine are they strong ionic bond or the weak ionic bond they have the strongest ionic bond yes or no so it is it is not possible it is not possible for a sodium to break this so called strong association and get associated with the stationary phase this the small molecule the small molecule compounds can form the stronger ionic bond yes or no like lithium is a small atom sodium is a small atom and because of their smaller more atomic size smaller atomic size they can have the stronger ionic bond with the counterpart so the sodium may not be able to break that ionic bond so easily and if it is not able to break that bond how it come is going to get associated with the stationary phase yes or no and that's the reason this lithium plus and sodium plus get retained very poor in the ion chromatography clear type in c for clear in the comment box if you are clear now why the lithium sodium they have the least retention time as compared to maybe magnesium calcium and the potassium and the ammonium right because they have the very strong they have the very strong ionic bond right 
And uh, if you understand, in case of the uh, anions, like fluorine is going to have the least retention time followed by chlorine, nitrate, so nitrite, bromine, nitrate, uh, phosphate, and the sulfate. Let us look at the uh, let us look at the chromatogram also. And with the increasing need of uh, analysis of sodium nitrates, ion chromatography can be more attractive uh, mode of HPLC because we know that the sodium nitrate is one of the precursor of uh, 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 precursors of nitrosamine. Is yes or no? It is one of the uh, nitrosating agent. And to understand the content of sodium nitrate or Na plus. You can certainly use ion chromatography. Hmm? So fluorine, fluorine gets low retention time, then followed by chlorine, then nitrite, bromine, nitrate, phosphate, and the sulfate. And the logic is again the same because fluorine can form the very strong ionic bond that cannot be broken so easily. And because of that, it cannot get attracted by the stationary phase and ends up getting the lower or very poor retention time. Clear until this point, please type in C for clear in the comment box. Why the lithium plus or why the fluorine minus gets the low retention time on the ion chromatography? The detector measures the conductivity difference between the mobile phase and the ions, right? This is going to be a conductivity detection technique most of the times because ion does not have any kinds of uh, uh, you know, the chromophores, because of that, your UV detector may not work well. The stationary phases in the ion chromatography could be negatively charged or the positively charged. So for cations like sodium plus, uh, calcium plus, what is going to be the charge of the stationary phase? It is going to be negatively charged stationary phase, yes or no? The station, stationary phase is going to be a negatively charged. So for cations, like sodium plus and calcium plus, our stationary phase are going to be a negatively charged like sulfone group or carboxylic group. Sulfone group or carboxyl group. And on this particular stationary phase, you can analyze alkali metal ions, alkaline earth metal ions, sodium ions and the ammonium ions. It's very important to understand the selection of a stationary phase is very crucial in case of the ion chromatography in case of the ion exchange chromatography, right? In case if you have the anions to be analyzed like uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, that is negatively charged ions, then your stationary phase should be positively charged like the quaternary ammonium group. And by using this stationary phase, you will be able to analyze fluoride ions, chloride ions, nitrite ions, bromide ions, nitrate ions, phosphate ions, and sulfuric acid ions. I hope you understand how to use this ion chromatography for analysis of your uh, ions. Please type in C for clear in the comment box.